times I've been crossed off the list and left for dead. So this, this ain't nothing new. Bounty hunters. I've been hunting ready for 10 years. He's the most dangerous man we've ever tracked. Bounty's been doubled. I've come to collect your head in a box, right here. So yet again, we play for blood. This is a man who sees in the dark. So watch out for surprise attacks. What is it? Read now. You get where I'm going with this. Again! Time's up. Yeah, let's cut him loose. movies where they clearly have spent some money or at least have uh, spent it well because this film looks very good to me top notch in terms of the special effects it even also seems to have some good writing i mean well we'll see what happens in terms of you know plot holes because that's always very difficult in horror movies in particular and sci-fi horror films i think there have been a lot of mediocre ones but i, I like the lines here i particularly like the my favorite line really stood out to me was when vin diesel says you know one down another down i think you see where this is going and i was like i do see where it's going vin diesel and i like it uh, this is, you know, as everyone knows, this is one of his signature roles. I think this in Fast and Furious. Uh, and, you know, Diesel's career infamously kind of derailed with Triple X and stuff like that. So it's nice to see him being able to come back slowly but surely first with the Fast and Furious franchise. And I guess maybe now that's spilling over to this. And kudos to him because he's a producer on Riddick. And, you know, so he's not just taking a back seat and letting fate determine his career. He's actively involved. And... I like the cast here. You have Katie uh, Sak Sakoff, or Sakoff, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce her name exactly, but uh, from Battlestar Galactica, I like seeing her here. Uh, I see some other familiar faces. Dave Bautista, get a good look because he's going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy. He's the one who says maybe we should cut him loose. And also listed in the credits, though, is Carl Urban. Uh, I think he was a villain in the second Riddick film. Uh, I, I haven't really seen the Riddick films, but... Uh, I love Carl Urban so much. He was one of my favorite parts of Star Trek Into Darkness. He was great as, uh, as Judge Dredd and Dredd. And I just don't understand why Carl Urban doesn't get any love. Where is the, Car where is the Carl Urban fan base? Uh, we need to be more vocal. But uh, So I like this movie a lot. Uh, it reminds me, I think, in a good way of the Resident Evil franchise, which is also done very well consistently, uh, just with a male lead. And it's not, I guess it's, it, you know, ironically, it's refreshing to see a male lead in this, this type of movie because these days it's always a female lead, uh, you know, in these like kind of dirty sci-fi horror films. So Riddick looks great. Looks like they spent a lot of money on it. Are you going to spend your money on it? Uh, write your thoughts down below. And as always, thank you for coming to be on the trailer, not just for the latest trailers, but these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.